I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on probability. Here is a question from Cambridge IGCSE Additional Mathematics, year 2017. I hope the solution of this will help many. Let me also thank the IGCSE group to post questions on their website so that we could share them and their solutions with students. The question here is, a football club has 30 players. In how many ways can a captain and a vice captain be selected at random from these players? So that is one part of the question. The second question on probability is, a team of 11 teachers is to be chosen from two mathematics teachers, five computing teachers, and nine science teachers. Find the number of different teams that can be chosen if the team must have exactly one mathematics teacher and B is the team must have exactly one mathematics teacher and at least four computing teachers. So it's an excellent question based on permutation and combination. Let us see how to answer. Question number one here is a football club has 30 players in how many different ways it was, can a captain and vice captain be selected at random from this? So these two are distinct identities, right? So, so we'll use permutation here, right? So they are distinct, unique. So 30 players, you could select any one of them. So you have a choice of 30. And then once one of them has been selected as a captain, for example, then you are left with 29 and therefore the answer should be 30 times 29, right? That is one way of doing it. Now, as I was saying, it is also a question of permutation. So whenever we are talking about distinct numbers, then we are selecting out of 30, we want to select 2. So 30p2 becomes our solution, correct? Now, a calculator may or may not be required in this. So you could actually do this and write down the answer. It is going to be same for both. So 1, 0, 3 times 9 is 27, and 3 times 2, 6, and 2, 8. So 870 is your answer. Now, let's look into the second question. A team of 11 teachers is to be chosen from two mathematics. So let's say mathematics, we have two teachers, five computing. So from computing, we have five, nine science teachers. So science teachers, we have nine. So let's write total, how many, right? So six plus nine, that is your total, right? Which is, sorry, seven plus nine, which is 16, okay. So total is 16 for us, as far as the number of teachers are concerned. Now, conditions are given to us. The team must have exactly one mathematics teacher. Now, we have to select 11, right? So, the important thing here is to select 11. A team must have exactly one mathematics teacher. So, we want, that means one maths, right? Exactly one. And then we have 10 others. So, that is what we are looking for, correct? So if you look into it, first let's select the math teacher wherever there are constraints, right? So it is two available, any one of them, correct? So it'd be 2C1, correct? So we have a combination which is 2C1, correct? Now, 10 others from these, I mean, I should say 16 minus, uh, minus two, <laughs> sorry, let me use a different ink from these right so these are 14 so we have a choice of 10 from 14 that is what it means right so from 14 we have a choice of 10 so product of this will give us the answer correct so that is how you could actually calculate you can use the calculator to find the answer right as far as the value of c is concerned in general if we have ncr it is n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. So at times calculator is not allowed. So, you know, 
So that could be uh, sometimes a constraint. But normally, calculator is allowed for such questions. Correct? So let's calculate. So this is just the number 2. Let's find this answer. So here we get 2 times 14C10. Right? So let's calculate with calculator. So we have 14 and combination 10 is 1001 right so that is two times 1001 and that gives you 2002 so that becomes your solution for part a now let's look into part b which is the team must have exactly one mathematics teacher and at least four computing teachers now the critical word to understand here is at least four what does that mean now this is where sometimes you can do a mistake right so at least four computing so so what we could have we could have one mathematics teacher right mathematics teacher one as far as the computing teacher is here we could have four we have total of five or five that is what it means in that case the other teachers will be how many right so science teachers will be we want total of 11 to be selected correct so if i choose four computing teachers then we are left with six and if i choose five of these one maths so we are left with five so those are the two possible combinations correct so or right so this this and this or that so that is what it is with one is it okay so that is what it is so writing this will be out of two mathematics teachers one is being selected so 2c1 times choice out of 5 so 5c4 five, this choice is out of 9 9c6 nine right so that is the first combination second combination could be one mathematics out of two and then five computing from five all of them that means this is number one and nine we have to select five out of nine so nine c five so that becomes your answer correct so you can just add this and write down your answer okay so let's calculate this answer so we have uh, 2c1 is 2 so let's say 2 times 5c4 so 5c4 and then we multiply that with 9c6 9c6 and that gives you 840 plus this one 2 times 5c1 is 1 9c5 it's times 9 c5 correct and that gives you 252 uh, 252 right and then we're just going to add them plus 840 that gives you 1092 as our choice so the total is 1092 combinations right so that is how we are going to answer this particular question so i hope you understand and appreciate right so exactly means just one right and at least means minimum that is how you treat these two terms that should help you to answer the question i hope you find it interesting and useful feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best